So I made a, another small addition to this uh, solar water pump that I have. And um, these are 100 watt panels. And the 100 watt panels run that pump no problem. Um, but as the sun starts going down or when the sun's coming up, uh, there's a period where the panels just aren't putting out as much as they need to uh, to run the pump. And um, I had it set up for a 12 hour day. Of course, you know, 12 hours is not what you'll normally get out of some panels when it comes to optimal power. But what I wanted to be able to do is, is really make these panels run that pump from uh, basic, um, you know, morning till, till evening. So sun up to sundown. Uh, with just minimal time between there. So I'm trying to get a good um, amount of time out of this pump. So anyways, I added a second panel. Again, they're about a hundred bucks um, for the panel. That's, you know, a dollar a watt. But, uh, you know, if you look around, you can get cheaper. I probably could have put just a one panel on here that was like a 275, like I was talking before. But the uh, place I was going to buy one of those, uh, you know, the the shipping and everything is, is more than it's worth. So anyway, so I put another one of these 100 watt panels that I had. That pump is running um, not only longer, but it's putting out a whole lot more flow, uh, probably pretty close to its uh, to maximum. And uh, we're getting to a point now where the pressure gauge is kicking on and off even when I'm watering because it's still building up pressure faster than the drip lines are putting it out so uh so i'm probably gonna have to change around some of the heads on uh, my drip irrigation but but i made this little uh pedestal here to get it out of the grass and um you know it's very basic but i just put a you know a screw on each side so that way i could also come and and tilt it you know when i need to so i can <laughs> tilt it however it is i can tie the screw in it if it ever gets a little sloppy i'll put another screw in it and make it where i can change it but uh the point was is to make it where i could just easily tilt it uh summer winter and everything but um anyway it's doing great that's just another addition i added uh you know like in the last uh the last videos i had it was the uh the pressure uh gauge uh, the pressure switch i'm sorry and uh, well it's got a pressure gauge there and this has been running awesome um ever since i added it so uh, it's just another follow-up to that video to let you know that that switch is still running great. And, uh, yes, I still use some indoor wire. Um, I was never able to, well, I was, I'm always able to get it, but I, I never got the wire that I was going to buy. I just didn't end up ordering it. And uh, so I have a lot of this in the garage from when I ran um, my power sockets and everything in the shop. So... I'm just using that for now, and, it, and it's going to work. I mean, it's just copper wire. I don't really need it insulated for anything special out here. This isn't a high-voltage situation or anything, but anyways, if you can, use outdoor wire. But this was just an update. Yeah, this is, uh, I guess, part three of that uh, solar water pump video, and this is uh, just my little pedestal that I put together to hold the panels, and I even made it where, heck, if I wanted to add another 10, uh, I mean, a 100-watt panel, I could put uh, one there and get it up to 300 watts, but... That would be way more than this pump needs but if i did end up wanting to put let's say two pumps um then that would be sufficient enough power to run two pumps also if i put a third panel so anyways that's just my update hope everybody likes it thanks